Buenos días. Buenos días, Buenos días, mi gente. ¿Cómo andamos? All right. We're fucking Q&A, a Toast of Life podcast. We are back. So let's give it up one more time. Before we get started, we don't really do this, but got to make sure you go subscribe. You show some love. Follow. Share it. Numbers are going crazy. Um, and today we want to do a Q&A because... Fuck. I know we're not the only ones that have been feeling that this week has just, it's been a week. <laughs> it's been a week. So let's get right into, Oof. and for the ones that are listening while they're driving or they're chilling in the room, sitting down, wherever you're listening to this podcast, appreciate you. <sighs> Those days, the days that are hard, right? Like we all have, usually for everybody, it's Mondays. You get up and someone asks, like, I don't feel like getting up today and I don't feel like doing it. Like going to work, going to work out. I don't feel like smiling. So what, let's start, let's start with Dylan. What, what would you say got you through that? What gets me through? Those type of days. Those type of days? Yes, sir. Like, if I'm not going to do it for myself, no one will. You know? Like it, it say, may... say it again and look at the camera. This is going to be a TikTok <laughs> one. <laughs> I said, if I don't do it for myself, no one is going to do it for me, so. Aubrey? I think for me, it's like, okay, you want to stay home or, like, you don't want to be out there, so what are you going to do instead? Because we all know that at the end of the day, like, you're going to regret just laying there in bed. Sometimes you need it. Like, sometimes you really do need to just, like, have a day where you do nothing. But I ask myself, like, okay, if you're not going to get your ass up and do what needs to be done for you, and I always say it, I always say, like, you need to do what needs to be done to get you where you want to be. Like, it's really up to you. So if you're not feeling like going out there, what are you going to do to make yourself feel better or make an attempt to make yourself feel better? Because, I mean, we all go through those... We all go through those days, tough days, hard days that, I mean, for a lot of people, it's either Monday, Tuesday, or usually, eh, kind of like. I think it's Sunday for me. Sundays. Sunday night. Because I'm like, oh, like, here we go again. Like, Sunday mornings are always, like, cool. I have church. Then I get to see you guys. And then I, like, leave. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, here we go again. So let's get into <coughs> Friends. I think everybody right now, we're all going through transitions of gaining new friends. And at the same time of gaining friends, we're losing friends. And for a lot of us, we, we hate losing that old group of friends that we've had from elementary, high school, maybe right after high school, depending on what age you're in right now. But we're all like, I know I was at that one point, like I was just so scared to lose people. Like, I don't want to lose my friend because I'm doing this. So I'm, I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing so I can just keep them in, in my circle. And, again, the people that are listening in, like, we're all, they're all trying to figure this out. Like, how do we do this? What, what do I do to get out of this habit or get out of this circle that, dude, my friends, all they want to do is just party. They don't want to work towards the future. They don't want to even see the future in that sense. That, that comes down to... <clears throat> That comes down to you giving a fuck what people think. Mm. It's not you're not doing it for yourself. It's just you're giving a fuck what people think, and you're going based off of that. So, so it's better to be alone. Sometimes you gotta be selfish. You gotta be <laughs> selfish sometimes. But oh I'm not God. selfish. It's, yeah, you know, it's I'm learning not, to be sometimes learning to be selfish. But like, I think a lot of people take that as like a negative term. Like, oh, that person is selfish. Um, but like Dylan just said, like. If I don't do it, who's going to do it? It's kind of the same thing. Like, if I don't got me, then who does? Exactly. You know, like, nobody's for certain. Like, nobody's for certain. Um, friends, family, like, everything. So I think it's important to have a selfish season where you Facts. know that at the end of the day, you got you. Because if not, like, let's be real. Like, there is times where you're going through it and you don't want to reach out to people. Who so knows me? Like, sometimes I just have to go through the motions. Like, it doesn't always have to be a big deal. And it's like... I always say, like, I know I'm good. Yeah. You know, like, and I know that because I've been through that season. We're, we're going to, like, really, we all know those people, maybe, and I feel like we've all been through it ourselves. I know I have. 
of being alone and, and using that term, man, I don't want to be alone. I hate being alone. I don't want to go eat by myself. I don't want to go to a gym by myself. But now it's like, I'm good. I can go eat by myself. Some of you guys are going to see me at one point in a restaurant just <laughs> chilling on my own. And last for week. the <laughs> last week, last the week, week. before. Um, but even I think a big one for and it's an easier one for everybody. Like when you go to the gym, go to when your friends don't want to go to the gym, but you know you have to and you want to. Like yo, that's that moment you got it. That's the decision you got to make right then and there. Do I got to go do this on my own and it's okay, or should I just wait for everybody to be ready and then I'll be ready at that same time? So it's we said it earlier this week. Like that dude that that's sitting alone, that's walking alone. That's Jimmy alone. Like, that's a dangerous motherfucker. Hell yeah. Like, he's good with the fact to be alone. He doesn't need anybody else to move forward, to keep doing what he has to be doing, you know, striving, thriving. But there's a lot of... And that's when, I feel like that's when you learn your worth. Like, that's when you know, like, what you will and will not tolerate from people. Um, yeah. But whether that be, like, relationships, friends, like, anybody you come across, you know, like, you just learn to... Um, yeah, it's just not, not be so fixated on, on other people's opinions. You just know what you bring to the table. You know what you're gonna tolerate and not tolerate. Yeah. Um. So again, I think it goes back to like you need that season. So it's, it's you don't have to always be that like lone wolf mentality, but like you need that season. You, 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 I think that's the one thing I'll tell everybody. The ones that are listening right now, hit that follow, hit that subscribe right now. <laughs> is you have to think about that time when you are alone. When you're going through your shit, when you're depressed, you're sad, a dark, a dark cloud is over your head right now, who is really there to take care of you, to get you out of bed, to get you motivated to go and go to work or go to the gym? At Yeah, you may have some people, but at the end of the day, like, fuck, man, it's you. <laughs> you, like, you're, you guys said the best. Like, you have to go do it for yourself. So for some people, and I think right now the transitions of everybody in relationships – is getting out of that habit of a, even if it's not an abusive relationship, it's a toxic relationship in a sense where they don't want you to progress. Codependency. Yeah, they don't want you to grow as a person, as an individual. Why? Because once you grow, they're just so scared because they know they're not growing. You're going to outgrow them, and they know there won't be a part of that, of that new beginning. So to get out of that, toxic relationship or for someone not just speaking to yourself or from your experience but someone that uh oh let's talk about experience like getting out of that that like ongoing relationship like coming back leaving coming back go Dylan <laughs> 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 yeah let's let's talk about it Dylan <laughs> Dylan, Dylan is more of a re if you guys know Dylan personally or through the podcast he is one of those dudes that's behind the scenes, doing the work, quiet, but knows what he's doing. Like this is one of the one of the dudes, my brother, that is good with being alone. He, <laughs> this this thing is good on the shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> he's one that like so from not, maybe not just experience, but if they're like coming to the question, how to get out of that cycle. Um. Well, like like I'm you I still don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm still not. A, no, like, well, like you said, I mean, about that growth, if that person is not willing to grow without you yeah. in their sense to meet you at that level Facts. once you both are ready, then she's not going to be willing to do anything else for you. You know? Mm. I mean, okay. if she's not going to do it for herself, she's not going to do it for you, bro. Do you think it's something that can be, like, when you meet somebody, they already have to, like, have that? Or do you think that you can help a person develop that? You can't help a person develop that. You can't really make them, like, you can't make them develop that. It's you just they'll, they, they will, they'll see it in you, and they'll be like, fuck, I need to change. Not because of him, because it's more like of, a, okay, I want something with him, I'm going to meet him halfway. You know, it's kind of like, at that point, it's like, okay, teamwork type of shit. And it's like, if I want something with him, like serious, or with her, it's like, we got to be, we both of us have to be sane to get to where we want to be. Well, you got to think about that. Like, every, like when you start a new relationship, everything's like fucking glass and, and glamour. Like, 
Angels, butterflies, lovey dovey. Oh my god! Like we haven't got we got in our first fight. We didn't decide on what to eat. Like, bro, bullshit aside. Like, the biggest challenge is when getting into a new career, taking that leap of faith to start your own business or to even like social media is a huge uh, factor in a lot of things right now. So there's a lot of dudes, girls, and guys that are not ready for their other person to level up and. To like what you said, kind of disagree. Like you can't teach them, and I do agree in that sense. Like you can't. But if you're going together and you guys see the angle, like sky's the limit. And oh yeah, 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 because totally. I'm not gonna play devil's advocate. Like yo, I wasn't this motherfucker when I like three years ago. Mm-hmm. Or right, like you years. had you had your own growth. Too. I had my own growth. Like now, I had to find myself. I had to realize how to be alone, how to let go of certain things, certain events, certain people, and I'm good. But right now, it's like how we are. Like, I want, if I'm growing, I do want the people around me leveling up also. Why? Because that means if I don't got it, then you guys got it. And that means if you don't got it, then I got it. But we're all helping each other. In a healthy way. Yeah, because like, then there is those like like in the beginning we were talking about like how you have to let people go because they don't want to see you win. Yeah. But it's a whole different thing like when it's a healthy kind of um, like you have your circle of friends like everyone's it's like a healthy competition you know like oh shit he's on his shit I gotta get on my shit yeah. you know because then there's those other relationships where or relationships friendships whatever that like people see you winning and then like they're behind the scenes like you know you just gotta take it as praying motiv- on your downfall yeah you gotta take it as motivation <laughs> like pretty much. That, oh, if my significant other is thriving, like, all right, what, if, what could I do to match that same energy? Like, the money will come. But or help them. Or help, yeah, exactly. Like, right, we, because sometimes, I mean, I feel like we can't push, like, and I'm seeing that more and more now, now that I'm, like, sticking with the corporate job. Like, not, entrepreneurship isn't for everybody. <laughs> and you can't push not everybody, you know? So, you I feel you like. You got it or you don't. Like, if you do have a significant <laughs> other that, like, they're on their grind, they have their own business, like, you're either doing it with them or you're helping them in some sort of sense so that you guys can both, like, you know, be at the top together. But if you're just sitting there on the sideline, like... It, it's, a, it's a matter within you. Like, it's a fight within you. How bad do I want it? How bad do I want to be successful? How bad do I want to be happy with myself? I want to get up and I want to be happy with what I'm doing. It may be stressful. It may be tiring. But you know the result day after day is worth everything you're doing. But like I just said right now, like, either you have it or you don't. Pretty much. This can't be taught. Like, this, what we're doing right now, we learned it. But, motherfuckers, this was in us <laughs> from much. the beginning. Like, if tune in to oh, the last like one. what they one. say? It's yeah. like, when it says, um, you can strip me from everything that, that I've got because it's not on me, it's in me. You know, yes, like. Sir. She wouldn't know about, about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she yeah. wouldn't know she, about that. It and it's just, it's true. Like, you can you can literally take everything away from me. And, yeah, I'm probably going to, I'll be low, I'll be down here, but I'm going to get my ass back up. Why? Because it's in me. Like, nobody taught me. This is just, like, what I have in me, and yeah. that's why I am it's, where I am. Am I the most successful person? No, but I like, could say I've lifted myself up it's a couple like, times. It's like that. Like, uh, literally kind of just what you said, but just in a different word. It's take everything away. I give everything up. Mm-hmm. I can redo this. Mm-hmm. Like, I can really redo this. But let's transition into the money part, comfort. You know, like we're here, and I was thinking about this today, actually, that entrepreneurship is rewarding, is a headache, <laughs> it's stressful, but it's yours. But I, I, want, I want everybody to, to understand this, that I'm not saying go quit your job right now and put everything you got into it and have nothing for tomorrow. It's you got to make sure the the right moves are the right moves. You got to move correctly. Doesn't matter how slow it goes. Like someone asked, how did I start this podcast? Yo, re- I just wanted to do this. Having conversations with my people, my friends that are on the previous episodes, new people that we met. And it's valuing those. Like even when you go to a party, you go to a, to a restaurant, whatever it is, having that meaningful conversation and not be able to go back on it. I was like, nope, we need to do this. And again, this is for our people. Someone brought it up last, like, two weeks ago, last week, like, oh, for, for our culture. There's nobody like us that's doing it like us from where we're from. So why not be that voyage? Why not be those people that, exactly. oh, they're not going to do it. Be that motherfucker. 
Don't and go it's wrong. And what yeah. do you lose if you're enjoying it? You know, win or lose, like, like even if you're even when we're losing, which in my sense we're losing when we didn't have the numbers. Like yo, it was part of the process. We were supposed to then, fight this hard. Even then, like when we don't see the numbers, like you and I both, when we don't see the numbers, like because we have like each other and like the circle, it's like, dude, fuck the numbers. Mm-hmm. You know, like fuck the numbers. Fuck the. I mean, would it be nice to reach as many people because that our end goal, our purpose is to be able to like just reach one person. But it's like, honestly, fuck the numbers. Like if yeah. I could reach one person, that's one more than it's I didn't have. It's because last of where. Week. It's because of the. What we have and our goal, our goal is not just to get the numbers again, subscribe <laughs> and share. It's not just it's to not do that. It's not about the numbers, but give us the numbers. <laughs> but go ahead, give us the numbers. Why t- someone else needs this conversation um, is to be able to create a platform and a, and a production, to be honest, for people to have that authentic uh, podcast, honestly, to listen, like, these are real, genuine people, and what everybody needs to understand is that this isn't scripted anytime. It's literally the way the conversation just flows. And, and I think, like, to motivate others, right, like, to uh, motivate, like, whoever is watching, like, go have these freaking conversations with yeah. the people around you, like. You have to, like, you really, have, like, <coughs> go to the side, you gotta go to your people. With your have, significant other, with yeah, your mom, with your sister, like, like hey, have these real-life conversations that, like. We're so accustomed to not. We're like so what scared. Do, like, what do you always want to do? What stops you from it? What What events stopped you from doing that? Like right now, again, the and it's the matter of <laughs> <laughs> it's a matter of not complaining, not being a victim of society, and because this this happened, then I can't do this. Like, bro, stop your fucking complaining. Like, give me your problem for the next thirty minute, thirty seconds, a minute. But tell me your fucking solution Let's to find this. A solution. Like mm-hmm. you have to. You're wasting too much time crying. Complaining. Sorry, but crying, bitching, complaining, without really thinking about the fucking solution. Mm-hmm. So how do how do you find a solution when you feel like everything is just pitch black in in your pathway? Mm, that's Ooh. a good question. That's a good question. Um, to be honest, I don't even know that, but it's just some of us just expect the t- solution to come to us or someone else to give us the solution when it's our problems. Mm-hmm. You know, we might have a similar problem, but I'm going through it and you're not. You know, so sometimes we complain to someone, we complain to someone waiting for them to give us the answer mm-hmm. or the solution. And it's like, no, no, fuck, you got to do that shit yourself. You know, I can, I can fucking tell you what to do, how to do it, but if you don't want to do it or you don't do it the way you want to do it it's not gonna happen Mm -hmm. so a lot of people complain and and complain waiting to get a solution and it's like bro you're going back to that cycle it ain't coming bro it ain't coming bro you gotta think too it's like focus on what you can do you know like okay maybe (coughs) let's say like your finances are doing shitty as hell but what can you do in the meantime because sometimes i mean like Yes, can I go in the corner and fucking sell some, like, sell something, you know? Like, yeah, it, it's doable. Hey, like, yo, hey, 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 hey. No, I mean, like, hey. like could I go I and, mean, like, start why a not? <laughs> I mean. Oh, let's go sell some ass. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> no, like, could I get up and, like, go, like, make some money? Like, every, like, all of us can. But in reality, it's like, okay, what can I do today? Like, what do I have control over? Let me stop focusing on the things I don't really have necessarily control for right now. Yeah. But let me start making a plan for next month. You know, like, let me start planning on, let me start budgeting, let me start creating something. Dude, our our generation, I'm sorry to say, you guys, the ones listening in, I love you guys, but a lot of us, look at your circle, we fucking complain about getting $20 an hour. And I'm going to tell you, like, 10 sec, like, 30 second story. Met uh, people that work in the field last week. These guys came from Mexico, obviously, on a contract to get paid X amount of money, they ended up getting, like, $10 a day. A day. A day, bro. An hour. Not even, like, sorry, not a day. An hour. Oh, I was like, a day? I was like, and they're, But they're still, like, they're living in, in a warehouse just full of bunk beds. Families over there, and literally what they said was, we come here for the American dream, and in reality, it's, it wasn't that. It's better for me over there, but I know that I've got to gotta get through this in order to prosper and I was thinking, like, fuck, these motherfuckers over here. Like, I saw, I think, at McDonald's, you get an 18 an hour. Sheesh. Just chilling in AC. Have you seen Target? Target's like a 25 an hour day. Chilling in AC, so why complain? Stop being that victim of complaining and 
literally, if you want to make money, go make money. You want to exactly. do social media, do social media. You want to do content, do content. Whatever the whatever you personally want to do, you got to go do it. You just got to stop being a victim of what everybody else wants. Damn, I think it's like stop waiting for like validation from people. You know, like Facts. just exactly. Do, like I That's remember, like Say when it. I did my podcast, Say I was it. like. <laughs> I was like, okay, I told a couple people, but nobody, like, I mean, I guess I did have, like, you know, the people that, like, pushed me, but at the, the end of the day, if you don't want to do it, The it's question not that, done. that, who was this? This is A-Rob. He said, how do you deal with haters and negative people? It's my cousin. <laughs> my boy. How do you deal with haters and negative people? I, that, I think that just flows into what you were getting into. Like, when you don't get the support, you don't, like, you don't get that people, you know, <laughs> Clapping in, how do you in the support, back of how do you, how do you, What is like, the question again? How do you, how do you deal with haters? Deal with, so let, let's let's literally ask that <sighs> question. You just you're gonna talk about this right now anyway. When you start something new, and you're not give, giving the flowers when you're starting it, like yo, I'm proud of you. So happy for you. You're gonna do this. I'm gonna support you. Well, and it's then like you get it goes nothing. back to the question: Is that what? Is that why you started it to only get people? Oh no! Ooh. Fuck no! I started because that one. You know, shit, like you know? I didn't create a podcast for <coughs> other. I mean, like yeah, I want to help people, but I created a podcast because, like, I didn't do it so that people could clap for me. I didn't wait for validation. I didn't wait for yeah. Like okay. it comes like is that why you started? If you start a nail business, are you starting so that people can say good job, girl? You didn't? No, you're yeah. starting because that's something that fuels your heart. Like that's why you started it. Apart from um, income. <laughs> apart apart from income. income. <laughs> Again, everybody, but I like, mean, be honest. So everybody's going to do it for money at one point. So if oh, someone, yeah. yeah, and if someone's hating, it's like, okay, well, what are you doing? If someone, I'll tell you if what. Those like, can I say, like, it doesn't hurt? Like, of course, like, hate hurts sometimes. Like, it's, it can get to you. We're fucking human. Like, we have we have feelings. Like, have you know, emotions, hate, yeah, hate yeah. can get to you. No, but it's creo. like, no, creo, <laughs> no creo. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, but no. It just comes back to, like, okay, it's a reflection of the person. It You, you have to... When you start something again, when you start something, you got to be ready to come with for the repercussions. Every action has a repercussion, good True. or bad. You got to be ready. So before you take that action, if you're good with whatever comes after that, balls to the wall, go for it. Balls to the wall. <laughs> I like that expression, balls but it, to the wall. But if you're not ready, <laughs> if you're not ready, yo, just sit back down. Don't get up acting <laughs> like King Kong and... At the end of the day, you're just a little chihuahua just walking I don't know around. What do you what do you I, feel I would, with the expression of fake it till you though. make it? Fake it till you make it. What's up that, with that? <laughs> it's gonna come back and bite you in the ass. Ooh. It's gonna bite you in the ass because I was just saying this yesterday. We are who we are on and off camera. Mm -hmm. And for the longest time you can you can portray certain thing. You can have the nicest shoes, the nicest car, but your living situation can suck. Your bill situation can suck. True, true, true. Like, if you got nothing to back yourself, like, if you're wasting everything on a Saturday, and then this week, you don't even have enough to go buy a, something for the a dollar bang. menu, or a bang, <laughs> or even Sompo Maruchan, <laughs> bro, sit the fuck down. You don't got to impress I with everybody. That was bomb, though. <laughs> I had one last night. <laughs> you, don't, you don't always got to impress everybody. Like, And I think your true colors show, because, I mean, how can you, like, I mean, we, we hang out together, so we already know, like, how each other are. But it's like, how can you go and portray something on social media and then, like, not to have it went Like, when you go see your family or your friends. I'm pretty like, sure if one of us would portray something that we're not in social media, we'll put each other on check. Yeah. Yeah. Have those type of friends. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, not even on and off social media, but even off social media, like, when you tell me, like, I make a decision and you, you check me and you're like, hey, hold up. You're about to make this decision. What do you preach? You know? Yep. Like, and sometimes we do, like, and he's called me out a lot of times, like, all right. You said this, and you're doing this. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, yeah, like, he's called me out on it, you know? And it's, like, it goes back to the importance of having a circle of friends that they're going to tell you like it is. Yeah, you and, know? I mean, if you literally have a $100 bank account and your boys want to go to the bar, know that you're about to spend $50 right away, plus parking, which is nothing to pay Ten, fifteen dollars. And that's if you don't find a girl there. And that's if you don't find a girl there. <laughs> and you live in California, so gas is expensive. Yes, yeah, so and these <laughs> girls don't. These girls don't want no casado. They want some Don Julio. They want some nineteen forty two shots. <laughs> so, <laughs> but like, don't don't try to impress. Like, yo, like, you don't gotta have the nicest shoes. Yet your car has one quarter gas. And I mean, if that does make you happy, honestly. Also, I, I, I read I mean, if that's what fill, if that's what fills your cup, if you really, because I I don't see. I mean, is it the best thing? No, but if what fills your cup is going out, spending money, 
and coming back home Broke and eating a to your mama's house. Maru -chan, if that your fulfills your house? life, fuck it. I'm is not going to associate myself with you, yeah. but if that fulfills your just, life, I think you just have like you, you really have to get your your priorities straight. Like you don't want to be 30 years old and. Oh, now it's my time. Mother, you're barely, you're barely, your time is about <laughs> your to pass. Your time is about to pass, <laughs> like, bro. Like, I mean, Steve Harvey said it best. Like, I went through my 20s, and I spent my 30s making up what I did in my 20s. And then I wasted my 30s, and now I'm in my 40s trying to make up what I did in my 30s. You so, just you keep backtracking Yeah, yourself. like, we have voyagers back, that did though, it, dog. It, like, it just always stuck with me how Jackie, has, how she said that she walks around, like, and she just views everybody and just, like, loves everybody. And I think, like, yeah, although it isn't, like, the best idea for people to be spending money on shoes or whatever. It's like they are following whatever they feel they yeah. need to do to fulfill themselves. So, so give you know, it. Like, so it's like I just feel like everybody is a. I mean, that's so deep, but like for everybody is like their own little. Yeah. Like we're on this earth. Nobody knows what the fuck we're. We don't know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So it's we're like true. we're, we're at the end of the day living to in each our their truth. own. To each their own. We're if it makes you happy. We're here walking in our truth. So this Q and A. Went by quick. I love it, but let's let's go with the quote of the week, Dylan. Quote of the week. What's first thing popping in your head, big guy? Damn you! Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> hey, yo, chill. <laughs> quote of the week. Let's see. I don't know. Get off that fucking bed and be that bad motherfucker. Ooh. Hell yeah! <laughs> That's my fuck. Get a fist bump. <laughs> you get a fist bump. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'll, I'll read. <laughs> let's see if we can top it. Um. I, I kind of said it before. It's it's on you to get you where you want to be. At the end of the day, like whatever. Like I said, it's my selfish season. <laughs> it's definitely my selfish season. So I feel like I just I'm gonna do what needs to be done. Right. Like every single day. Like I am living in purpose, walking with purpose, um, and You're just fulfilling. You. I'm, I'm fulfilled. <laughs> You're being you. I'm fulfilled. I'm doing what I can. I'm doing okay. what I can. Okay. That's right. That's right. I've never seen her that smile this much. But that's <laughs> the thing. I, I'm just. All right, so let me let me do this. I got this. Let's see. Everybody ready to what's, be? What's the quarter of the day, my guy? You guys ready to cry? So I'm ready to cry a little bit. I'm ready to cry. Go for it. Fuck you. Uh, and literally, you said this earlier, and I want everybody here listening in, watching, that you are who you are. Walk in your truth. You fought a lot over the years. You've gone through ups and downs. You Probably some days you didn't know you were going to fucking make it. Some days you didn't even know you are going to get up or how you are going to get through the week, but you did it. It's better late than never, and if this is your time and this is your check to go and start your life, go and do it. And fuck, be who you are. No, nobody can be better than you than you. Yeah, honestly, that's it. That's it. Be, be fucking it's, true. It's you v. you, bro. No one else. One v. one. Juan versus Juan. Let's go. <laughs> But tune in, subscribe. Yes, We're going to try to get back on these Q&As. We've just been on a grind busy. individually. <laughs> been but busy, yeah. to, today we had to do this for, for you guys, not just for you guys, but for ourselves also. So subscribe. Let's get to over 1,000. Let's get to over 30,000. I forgot and, the camera's there. <laughs> yeah. And let's fucking let's do oh. it. So a toast. I finished mine. I finished mine. Oh, <laughs> we all did. Know. But if you guys got Are one. You sure it's empty too? Almost. Yeah, yeah. But if you guys got one, your cafecito, Cheers. a toast to life. Appreciate Cheers. you guys. Let's go.